Hello, welcome spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martin and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of March 22nd, 2015. So I thank you all for being with me. You bless me by watching and sharing my videos with others. And I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week last week. And this week will be just as wonderful. We begin spring. We begun spring uh, last week, and so we're in, into a new season. And also on the first day of spring, we had a solar eclipse. So not only did we have the spring equinox, but we had a solar eclipse, and all these wonderful powers and energies that are around us is supporting new beginnings and new life, just like spring brings new life, and it's just so powerful and wonderful so there may be things that you were thinking about making changes or starting something new and the universe is supporting you and of course all that's divine is supporting you too because change is always good we don't want to stay stuck in one place we want to grow and make things get better or change them and and leave the past behind us and move on to more wonderful and a happy life that a God in the universe so much wants for us to be in. I uh, will select one card from three different decks and then a card uh, from the Archangel Michael prayer cards and see what our prayer is for the week. Now I've already called on God, the Ascendant Masters, the Angels and the Archangels to be with me and because of Law of Attraction and my intention I cannot pick a wrong card. And I'm going to start this week's reading with the Angel Tarot cards and we'll see what our first card is for the week. You know, where I live, uh, winter was holding on. <laughs> Although there are signs of spring, um, the tulips and daffodils and, and hyacinths and all those spring flowers are starting to make their way above ground. <laughs> And I've also noticed some buds on some trees and bushes. So even though we have snow-covered ground, it is uh, definitely signs that spring is here. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what our first card for the week is. <laughs> this is perfect. It's the wheel. And Archangel Michael tells us it's time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on our side. Now this is great because I was just talking about the spring equinox and the solar eclipse that we have and how the universe and even the angels are supporting us for change, positive change, wonderful changes, romance, jobs. Things are just going to manifest. And if, if they may have already happened because you know as the energies are building up with with these wonderful things it, it starts before it, it happens and also after it happens you know it could be like a two week a whole month period here where these wonderful changes that's going to be happening and we're supporting that fortune is on our side it's always good change is always good we're always fortunate in in that way and blessed in so many ways the next of the cards are the romance cards, and we'll see what the romance angels have to tell us. Of course, we want to stay positive as we go through changes. Know that we're, don't worry, don't fear, don't doubt it. We want to stay positive and be excited about the changes that we're going to make or going to happen. Okay. I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what romance angels have to say for us. They're telling us, pay attention to the red flags. And the card reads, the signs are cautioning you. Here we go. Changes. Things. Pay attention to what's going on. We might get some red flags and we dismiss them. Um, you know, and because we either want to give people second chance or realize but no these are warning signs you know that God gives us and lets us know this is not where we're supposed to be 
we're supposed to be happy. You know, if you're in a relationship and you're not happy, <laughs> that's a really good red sign that tells you this is not where you need to be. You know, we should feel loved in a relationship. We should be, give love easily and get it in return. You know, uh, we need to feel that we're a priority in someone's life as well as make someone else a priority in their life. And the same thing goes with you. If you're not giving a love to someone, that's a red flag too as well. You know, so whether you're either you're not getting it or you're not giving it, it's a red flag. Because sometimes we're in a relationship and we feel like we're being smothered. <laughs> So we hold back from giving because we feel overwhelmed. So they're red flags. Now, these red flags may mean it's time to change the relationship. Well, it does mean time to change. Maybe you have to speak openly and honest. You know, talk to them, make the changes, and speak how you're feeling to them so things can get better. Or it can mean, of course, it's time to move on to uh, another relationship. But pay attention to the red flags. You'll know what to do and listen to your intuition on what it is. Sometimes people need a second chance. Talk to them. Maybe they don't know how you feel. You know, maybe they don't real. Maybe they have a lot on their mind. You know, lots that's happening in their lives, and, and and they can't focus or concentrate on so many things at once. So talking openly to them, you can find out and heal this and make the changes that's going to make a more loving and a wonderful relationship. Okay. So that's for that. And the next set of cards are the power cards. And we'll see what the angels have to say about that. So, so far, these two cards are supporting uh, the energies of the universe right now. You know, a lot of times we just have to be patient. Patience is a big thing, and it's a gift from God. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And when we're in a knowing, we know it's coming. Everything is divine timing. Patience is very important. And the next card is the Two of Ariel. And the card reads, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. Okay. Like I was saying about, you know, the romance card, maybe uh, your partner is, got, is overloaded. Maybe has too many things going on in their mind that they want to get done and they're not paying the attention that they need in talking. It could also mean with you or in anything. You need balance. You can't constantly work and <laughs> work so many hours and so many things and not have rest. It's like we cannot stay awake. <laughs> For days on end, we need to close our eyes and sleep and rest. So we have the energy. And of course, our mind works wonderfully. Our body works wonderfully when we rest. So we need to take time to back off and have that balance, you know. But when we're working, it, don't make it seem so tedious that it's hard work. Make it a little fun. Find the pleasure in it. What what helps you in that way, whatever motivates you. And again, if you're in a job or situation that you're really not happy with, then it's time to make the change. Open yourself to receive. Call on your angels and the universe and God to get you a new job and be open. Pay attention to it when you open up to receive. I can't tell you how many times in my life where I've had one job and that I just walked out. I was so fed up, I walked out, and guess what? The very next day, I got a new job, just like that. <laughs> it's happened to me quite a few times in my in my whole lifetime, especially when I was younger. When, when, when you know, the change happens when you're fed up, and we, you want to move on. You don't want to say, oh, I hate my job, or I don't like my job, but I need it because I need the money. No, 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 no. Say, I'm tired of this job. I want a better job. Ask the universe to provide it for you. Yes, I will start over. The change will be good for me. Okay, I need balance. This job is draining me. I need to find, open, and start looking. And open yourself to receive to get a new job. And it will happen. And you will be happier for you. But again, like I said, you have to be patient. And let divine let everything in divine timing you know God might have to get 10 people to work to get you that new job or whatever you're looking for whatever miracle you want you know and 
eight of them are doing their thing and two aren't. <laughs> so we have to wait patient for those two people to, you know, to get on the right road to make your miracle happen. So we have to be very patient and things are being worked out in heaven for you and know that you're deserving of being in a peaceful and wonderful, loving life, you know, and we have to release any of those heavy things that we have in our life, just release them, whether it's sadness or, or guilt or, uh, or holding grudges, any of those things, or holding on to the past, we gotta let it go so our future is wonderful and, and uh, blessed. So, okay, so I think this is a wonderful reading. And let's see what um, Archangel Michael has to say, our prayer for the week. Okay, this card won't go into death, so this is the one I'm gonna use. It says, honor and trust your feelings. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, our intuition, our wisdom, we have to pay attention. The same thing of noticing the red flags, you know, honor and respect and trust what we're feeling, the messages that we're getting. And so the prayer reads, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Everything that's based on love is never, ever wrong. You know, when you express yourself, do it from your heart and how you feel. Don't do it to get back at anyone. Okay, we don't want to do that. We want to express from love in that way. So I think this is a wonderful reading, and I, and I hope it encourages you uh, this week to be magnificent and wonderful and really pay attention and, and really know what you really want in life and what changes that you need to make because you're absolutely wonderful and amazing. So I thank you again for watching and sharing my videos. You bless me and because of that you create a wonderful karma and in return you are likewise blessed. I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see everything I do. You can connect with me and join my contact list. You can also um, connect with me through my social media sites. And if you would love to, hope, which I hope you do, love to have a personal session with me. It's very affordable. You just pick the price that you can afford to pay. And then this way we're both blessed and we're both giving in that way. And we can connect through Skype or on the phone. Or if you live close by, you can come and see me. So whichever is, is best for, for you, you will be enlightened. And you'll see things in a whole different way that you never thought you, thought you could see um, before. So, and I also invite you every Wednesday night, I host a live web chat. And so you can come and get a free reading from me and connect with like-minded people and share your wisdom with them. It's a wonderful night. It's eight o'clock on the East Coast. And you just go to my website at cindyshealing.com and click on the live chat link and you can connect with me and see me live. So again, I thank you all. Uh, again for this you I'm very blessed uh, to be here and be with you so and I want to remind you that you are powerful when you're in the knowing when you have God the ascended masters the angels and archangels behind you you are powerful there's nothing going to stop you in that way especially love is the highest energy of, of all so until next week I send you lots of love and kisses from me to you and light and I wish you all namaste bye bye